you said you, you wanted your dog. dog. I want a little dog. Yeah. yeah. What kind of dog do you want? I, well, I, you know, I don't know. I just saw a bijou. A bijou. Excuse me. Yeah, a beautiful little doggy. I had a bijou. The bitch. I murdered the bitch. So didn't I murder you? No. Uh, yeah. I came home one day and I spread all of sprays all over my apartment. Ah! That bitch <laughs> ran underneath the bed. And the goddamn bitch, I went to work at the Comedy Store. I came <laughs> home that night, and I said, Bijou, where are you, honey? She Bijou. always came out. And never, and didn't answer me at all, the bitch. Oh, said, oh, and I thought she was under the bed. And here I had my hand. The bitch, I pulled her. She was dead. <laughs> and I cried. <laughs> I cried. You killed her with I pesticides? Killed that, killed that bitch with pesticides. I murdered her. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm you <laughs> murdered my little <laughs> like doggy Bijou, honey. My little Bijou. That was your name, Bijou. I murdered that Bijou. dog. And they could have called the animal <coughs> people on me, Mary. Well, <laughs> she came over and she said, You murdered her. Murdered my little dog. Oh, oh, little Bijou. My, no, my next door neighbor uh, left town. She went to. Uh, Mexico to like uh, do a, a thing on uh, she's she's a what do you call it a journalist right and so she left her two kittens with me <laughs> oh yes oh this is a great story two kittens with me. and I took care of the kittens right. you know, and we, uh, one day one kitten just like gone and yeah. she came back and I went, ran away never came back never came back ran away. and you know and so Even today, never came back. Never came okay. back. Okay. You know, one of her, one of her babies. Okay. okay. So there was another one left, and so the next time she had to leave town, she didn't ask me to like take care of the cats. She asked my friend Todd to take care of the cat, but Todd, you know, wasn't responsible enough. So I went up there to like feed the cats because I know how to feed the cats. Anyway, um, I think the cat was just so despondent about your mother being gone, or, you know, his friend or whatever gone that he just like just like slowly deteriorated well darling one morning and of course my friend Todd you know does cannot think about anybody but himself so I'm going there to feed the cat in the morning and there is this this oh, oh la la that soft I said it oh. is dead what oh, am I going baby. to do the second one I thought here I am oh, now I'm, I'm accused God. of you know, twice murdered. Yeah, one. Oh, I should have called up. Why didn't you get some OJ Simpson? Okay. You should have called Cotto. Get a replacement, honey. I tried. The bitch she probably would've... wouldn't recognize it. Try yeah, to get to... she would have known. She would have known. Anyway, so I called up Todd. I said, Todd, get your ass over here. Todd gets over here. I said, there's this dead, frozen thing oh. over here. What are we going to do? Oh. There are flies. Okay. <laughs> God, you know, I have to clean the apartment. We murder. So we have, oh, so anyway, oh yeah, no, so I said no. And the thing is, um, we called up the mother. She wasn't home. And so I just said, let's call up the ASPCA and ask them what should we do? Because if she comes home and this thing is like lying, I, I, I'm not taking responsibility. responsibility, of course. And he said, well, uh, so, uh, so I said, oh, I'll call up the ASPCA. And the ASPCA says, what they say? Those bitches are cold. Put it in the freezer. They're cold. Is it? Put it in the bag and put put it in the freezer. And I'm like, oh, did they say 